Could you tell me a little bit how it all started? How was uh, your plant-based journey like and what got you in the place that you're in now? I was actually raised here in California, vegetarian by my Buddhist hippie parents. Um, <laughs> I eventually diverged from that. I ended up in New York and training classically, learning every kind of cuisine, French, Italian, Spanish, and was very far from plant-based. Like I was breaking down whole animals and making foie gras and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Um, at some point I reached like a saturation point where I felt really unhealthy and like it was very unsustainable um for the planet and for me personally and i found myself going back to plant-based cooking at home and then i took the, a big leap and left new york completely and moved to california and just kind of had a, a full circle journey if you will kind of just like coming back to my roots but using all that training that i had to translate that into plant-based cooking and opening a restaurant in california where you know, we're doing plant-based food, but with like a lot of interesting techniques. What about you? What's your plant-based journey? Oh, that's uh, that's quite the opposite. I grew up in a, in a society and in a culture that loved everything not vegan. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so that was something that just uh, hit me more of a like ethical level. I was reading a book on ethics and what I read was something that definitely shook me. So I just went vegan overnight. Um, <laughs> that was strong enough for me, a motivation. I cooked before, but it was a relearning of everything that I knew. And so that was quite, uh, quite a journey. And I was still, you know, at my university and tried to put vegan food anywhere I could in my, in my, in my social circle. So I was doing a little bit of catering uh, for friends and family first, and then it grew and it grew and I started teaching workshops. So I just kind of connected everything together and, and created a, a job that suited me uh, and all those interests in one space. So Marika, both of us being in hospitality, I'm curious, you being in Berlin, how is plant-based being received there? Yeah, it's definitely a thing. In Europe, we say that Berlin is one of the most vegan-friendly cities, and this is also the reason I moved in here. So I came already thinking this is going to be great. I wasn't sure how about the rest of the vegan lifestyle that comes with it, but it's actually great. And Berlin is really evolving month by month. You see new places opening up, so people are definitely going to more and more um, plant-based. Um, we just want delicious food and affordable for everybody and just and fair and sustainable source. I'm guessing, I'm assuming it's also super vegan friendly over there. Um, yeah, it is. We're really lucky to have a similar, not just mindset, but some of the most amazing produce in the world. Um, I just want to say it's really interesting that a traditionally meat-centric country like Germany has had the most vegans and vegetarians per capita since the 90s, I believe. That's always what I've heard. Berlin always has been known in Europe also to be very liberal. People are absorbent of, um, of the, such lifestyle and such ideas. The products are flooding the market, everything. Everywhere you go, you can actually have um, something to eat as a vegan. So this is really great. This is really, we're spoiled. <laughs> Yeah, opening my restaurant in LA, it was very well received. You know, there's just a lot of people that are excited to eat plant-based. Mm -hmm. um, but there was also some um, kind of strategic <laughs> persuasion as well. It sounds cliche, but really it was like a lot of boyfriends and a lot of husbands that would kind of come in, like be dragged in grumbling. Um, but then they would leave happy and they would come back. Yeah, I think it's so interesting also, we can see it here uh, these days, post-pandemic uh, as well, that obviously I'm in the kitchen and constantly not seeing many people, but as I'm told from the from our team from the front of house is that a lot of people come now that don't, don't represent this younger generation, the hippie vibe that we've been talking about, but also older generation uh, are coming, are starting to come. And I find it so heartwarming and so great that these people are coming, not only enjoying food, but they're open-minded about it and they come back liking it. So Marika, I'd love to invite you here. I know the winters are brutal in Berlin, so maybe you can come here and get your vitamin D. <laughs> Oh, that would be amazing. I need to charge some more. So yes, please. And also likewise, 
Well, you're very much welcome and invited in here, just not in, not in winter. Yeah, no, I'm there. Berlin has been on my list for a while, so this is even more motivating. It was also nice to, to chat to you. Yeah, it was great talking with you.